Question 19. It's a start question. We're going to have to be able to explain our results using correct mathematical language. Work out the value of angle Y, giving reasons for our answers. It's a four mark question. There are going to be multiple parts. Each one we have to justify with a little bit of written proof. So firstly, we've got this angle here of 200 degrees and we know that this little box here means 90 degrees. What else do we know? We also know that all of these angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. So let's just make some notes on these. Whatever facts you can remember, if they're relevant, you can write them down. So it's angles at a point equal 360 degrees we're really giving reasons for the calculations that we're going to be doing in a moment now we know then here if we just make a little note on the diagram that that is 90 degrees we can work out this missing angle here so if we do 360 degrees subtract 200 and then subtract 90 so 360 take away 200 is 160 take away 90 leaves us with 70 degrees now I always find it helpful to make mark on a diagram anything that you've calculated so we've possibly got one or maybe two marks here at this stage because we've performed our first calculation and given a reason for it they may be quite stingy and only give us one mark because we've done the calculation and given the reason. So next step, we're going to have to try and work out what Y is. Now these little lines here, that single dash means that each line is the same length. So, what we can say is a few facts. So we have an isosceles triangle. because why always give reasons for everything because two sides are marked the same why is it important that we know this is an isosceles triangle well, one thing I'll say is then that this angle here is going to be the same as Y. So if we make a note of that, so these are called base angles. So the base angles are equal. There's one other fact we need to remember is that all angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So just going to make a little another bullet pointed note here. All angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. So now we know that, we can go back to our diagram. If we take away 70 degrees, we're left with both of these identical angles. So first fact, 180, subtract the 70 degrees we worked out before, it leaves us with 110 degrees. Now we've said that the two base angles are the same, so to find out why, it's just going to be half of the remaining angle, it's 110 divided by 2 which equals 55 degrees and that's our final answer just to show where we got this from might be an idea just to link the fact that we wrote down before with this calculation 